Now, it is the moon landing as you have never seen it before. Andy Saunders quit his day job to painstakingly restore thousands of images of the Apollo missions, which until now have been locked away in frozen NASA archives. The remastered photographs reveal extraordinary new details of humankind's first journey into space, and they really are out of this world. Rebecca Morrell reports. Three, two, one, zero, four, We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other things, not because they are easy, but because they are hard. The voice of President John F. Kennedy on the Apollo missions, which ushered in a golden era of human space exploration. Tranquility Base here. The Eagle has landed. But now the missions are being seen through a new lens, exposing some long-lost secrets. Andy Saunders has spent more than a decade trawling through 35,000 images held in NASA's archives, studying each one frame by frame. And even though some looked far from promising, what they contained was extraordinary. So this was an image of interest. So on a quite a simple level, first of all, we just look and we'll build up and start to stretch that contrast and pull out oh my goodness what is actually in that frame and lo and behold there's commander jim mcdivitt on apollo 9 in 1969. each image has been digitally restored and enhanced pixel by pixel to give us the clearest view we've ever had of the moon landings from vistas of the cratered surface to the eagle lunar module and a glimpse of what everyday life was really like for the astronauts. And they've even revealed the golf ball lost on the lunar surface five decades ago as Alan Shepard took his hobby into space. Only 12 people have ever walked on the moon. Charlie Duke was one of them. He's been on hand to check whether the restored pictures capture what the experience was really like. It's a spectacular terrain and uh, beauty of it. Sharp contrast between the blackness of space and the horizon of the moon. Uh, I'll never forget it. It was so dramatic. Now others will soon get to see this for themselves. Next week, NASA's new mega rocket will attempt to launch for the first time. Eventually, it will be returning humans to the moon. That's one small step for man. For 50 years, we've been captivated by the Apollo missions, witnesses to history as it unfolds. But soon the moon will be viewed through the eyes of a new generation. Rebecca Morrell, BBC News. Wow, amazing pictures, weren't they?